Hey, good day, folks. It's James VA3 JPX. And in today's YouTube video, I want to show you how to set up Ham Radio Deluxe satellite tracking software. Uh, this comes as part of the Ham Radio Deluxe package. The version I'm using is free and is version 5.24.0.36. And uh, I'll give uh, links down below on where you can download that version. Um, now, once you install the entire package and you launch the software for the satellite tracking, you're actually going to go immediately into the setup. And it's going to ask you for your information. So, uh, for example, um, if you just put in your grid locator, for mine it's Foxtrot November 25 Bravo Hotel, or you can just do Foxtrot November 25. Um, actually, let's just do that. There we go. 25. So it gives you basic coordinates. Um, and also here, you'll need to put in the amount of feet above uh, sea level you are. And that doesn't mean above water. It means above sea level. I'm at about uh, 306 feet where I am. Um uh, Let's see here, BH. Oh, no, it's the same. Okay. Um, so I, you know, it, it's recommending 299 feet. That's okay too. So um, once we put that information in, um, you click OK and you're ready to go. So the first thing you need to do is to download the latest satellite definitions. Now, this is a text based file um, that you download. And it basically contains the most current information on the satellite locations. So where they are, their, their altitude, um, their direction, speed, etc. And the way to do that is to click on satellite definitions. Um, what I do is because I, I've already had this loaded, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to purge old entries. So you just click that, purge definitions now. And then you're going to go to Kepler data. Click on that. Make sure uh, at least the first two are checkmarked. You can add other sources if you know where they are. That's fine. Um, all I'm interested in is NASA and amateur radio. Um, click download now. And there we go. It's downloaded. It's installed. And it will also update every one hour as well. So if you're one of those folks that like to leave your satellite tracking software on, you know, 24 seven on the big screen. That's fine too, because it'll make sure that, that you're up to date once every hour. So we'll close that. We'll close this window and we're going to now choose a satellite that we want to track. So we click new satellite and there's a whole bunch to choose from, but I'm just going to go to the down arrow here until we come across ISS, which is International Space Station. We will select it. Okay, so I will maximize this window. So right now it's currently overhead. It's uh, at an elevation of 15.4 degrees right now. Um, and its altitude is about 410 kilometers. Uh, we will lose its signal in about 2 minutes, 40 seconds or so. Um, and as you can see here, I have this little radar window that kind of shows me where it is. So if I was standing in front of my house right now, facing north, I would just simply look northeast, and that's where basically the satellite would be. But as you notice, the elevation is dropping quite quickly. So it's only, I mean, if you were going to try and work that, uh, uh, the ISS on amateur radio, chances are you're probably not going to hear it very good right now because the elevation is quite low. But if we take a look at this little button down here called Next Passes, um, let me just pin that right there. Uh, it says at 11.53 we have a pass. That's in its green. That's the pass that we're looking at right now. The next pass is going to be at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Maximum uh, elevation for that would be a, probably about 30 degrees or so, maybe 28 degrees. Then we got a really good pass over here at uh, 1507 or 307 uh, p.m. And that one's going to be about 60 degrees elevation. That's going to be a really good pass right there. And then again, we have another one 
at uh, at 4:43, and then we have one here that's very very low. It's at uh, it's 1823 or 6:23 Eastern time, uh, and it's uh, it's not even registering. So there's no point in even looking at that one. Um, if you also go to the little tracks button here, you can set radar, and it'll give you kind of a radar, just like we see in the main window. It'll give you uh, kind of a radar look as to what the next pass is going to be. So if you take a look at this one right here at 1507, um, that one's going to be really good. It's going to come in from the west, maybe slightly little maybe northwest, and it's going to go over and uh, it's going to, uh, we're going to lose a signal towards uh, the east, just past east. So uh, the frequency that you'll want to listen in on is 145.800 FM, that's in the two meter band. And um, now one thing to keep in mind when you're listening to the International Space Station on amateur radio is that they're not always uh, transmitting. Sometimes you'll uh, you'll hear packet data, which is their APRS um, uh, digipeter. Sometimes you might hear voice. Um, so it's it's it all depends on what the crew is up to and if they're in the middle of their downtime um, or if they're on break or whatever it is um, you know you'll you know you might hear some some traffic you might not if you're into APRS then uh, it's easy to work the International Space Station because uh, you just set it as your digipeter so anything that you send out um, will be digipeted uh, by the ISS, and one thing to note about that eh, is when don't don't blast it with 50 watts of APRS transmission power. It's 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 clogging up the uh, the digipeter um, and and other people that's trying to transmit there too, uh, because it's a satellite. You don't need a lot of power, five ten watts maybe max, and you're good to go. Uh, if you're using voice, uh, you know maybe you can use maybe five ten fifteen twenty watts, twenty five watts most. Um, but other than that, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Now, there's one other thing I do want to show you is when you're tracking the, the ISS, like right now it's coming over, uh, I guess, uh, the southern United Kingdom. Um, if we go to this track section right here and we choose minutes, I'm going to change it to six hours. Watch what happens. So now you see the path over the next six hours, and we got one, two, three. We got th three passes that are somewhat decent, and these are the passes: the one at 1330, 1507, 1643, and you know, I mean, we can even go 12 hours, but you'll find that you know these two right here on the end. Though those are these two right here, and, and they're we're not going to have uh, very good uh, coverage to that. So, uh, so you can track it like that. And if you do want to add another satellite, let's say you're into the FO20s or FO29, for an example, we can choose that one, and it will tell us, uh, you know, like right now the acquisition of signal will be one hour 17 minutes. I'm going to change that to six hours. We'll hit next passes and we do have a very good pass of FO29. That's probably going to be about 70 degrees elevation and it's going to be starting at about uh, you know 1329 and it's going to go right over to probably almost uh, 1350. So that's a, that's a good 15-20 minute pass right there. Um, so if you guys are working FO20, FO29, you can have a really good pass at that time. So um, that's it for now. It's not uh, rocket science. Har har. <laughs> it's very easy to set up and uh, it's very easy to operate. And you can track multiple satellites at the same time, as you can see when I'm flipping between the two of them right now. So that's it. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit uh, more information on this in the coming weeks. Uh, we're going to do some uh, perhaps uh, radio remote control with the satellite uh, tracking software. So you can be tracking, you know, uh, ISS and, and maybe an FO20 or FO29 at the same time. And whenever one of them comes within range, uh, you know, the software will automatically tune your radio to the frequency that uh, 
that satellite is using. So stay tuned for that. Any questions, comments, leave them in the sections down below. And thank you for watching. You have yourself a fantastic day.